You know, I think I think today was really a testament to like everybody buying in. You know, you get a new coaching staff, especially with what happened last year. It's like it was kind of hard to move past that. But once everybody started buying in, it really helped. And Coach Mike, I mean Coach Loxley, he's been he's been great. He's been helping us understanding that what we went through. And, you know, he's just been there the whole time. It seemed like on both sides, tight ends play a little bit of an extra role. Maybe what we've seen in the past here, yeah. not to read too much into it. But there are. It seems like those are some possibilities there, especially with Jake having the game that he had. Oh yeah, and then the tight ends. The tight ends we have, you can create matchup issues with matchup issues with like Jake and them. And then Noah Barnes too. He's 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 a sleeper. People people don't see, it, but he's a sleeper. I mean, you get big guys that can create matchup problems. That's, that's that's good for your offense. When you came into Maryland as a recruit, you were listed very highly against Virginia dual threat quarterback. Did today's game show you as a dual threat? Show what you could really do? I think so. I mean, it was tag tempo on the quarterback, so you can't really judge it seriously. But I mean, I had a couple of scrambles. I got out of the pocket a little bit. I think I think I showed it really well today. Is there anything to the number thirteen? Uh, no, I wore number 12 in high school, and uh, Tavon Jacobs, receiver here last year, he's a fifth-year senior. He had 12, and they were just like, well, what are the number you don't want? I was like, I'll just take whatever you guys give me. I was just happy to be here. So, sure. okay. At the Jack Lish Law Group, uh, not only will you feel like a member of their family, uh, you'll also receive uh, unprecedented customer service. We love our clients, and you'll see that if you trust us at the Jack Lish Law Group, the big dogs from the small firm and we'll reward your trust. Call the big dogs today, don't wait. Find us online at bigdogsmallfirm.com. Bruce, Tyler, what was the, uh, what's the big change in your game from last year to this besides the experience? Uh, I would just say maturity and like actually like knowing, knowing what I was doing in the offense. You know, last year I went into an offense, it was huddle under center. And it was still a good offense. I just wasn't used to it. So, I mean, it was just really rough adapting to that. But then I'm getting back in kind of the offense I ran in high school for four years. And I think I just feel more comfortable in this like one. the Loxley offense? Oh, yeah. I love it. It, it, it makes everything it makes everything simple for us. Once you learn the reads, once you learn everything, I mean, you can't be wrong in this offense. How's it changed from last year, the offense, basically? The offense? Yes. Um, I would just say it's, it's, more, it's more spread out. You know, you're in gun a lot more. And I feel like you have a lot more freedom when it comes to doing things and, like, the RPO reads we have, I just felt like uh, I just feel like it, it fits our team really well. When you're looking at those deeper throws, are you reading under coverage or do you look at the safeties mostly? Uh, I mean, it really just depends on the play. I mean, we're always looking at the weak side of safety, always looking at the strong side of safety. I mean, it just depends on the call we have. You like throwing in the wind? No, <laughs> I don't. Th I don't think anybody does. That was that was a problem today. All right. Thanks.